welcome to my garden. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're talking about the orange bird of paradise, Strelitzia reginae. For those of us who are fortunate enough to have owned one of these plants, have spent years nurturing them and successfully getting them to flower, they do produce the most exotic looking flowers. The question has come up, is it possible to pollinate them and possibly get them to set seed? We'll explore that today. In Southern Africa, where they're from, they are pollinated by small birds. In North America, that role has been taken over by the common yellow throat, which is a small warbler. When you look at these flowers, and they are the most exquisite looking flowers, they don't look like a typical flower showing pollen, anthers, stigma style, etc. Let's have a closer look at the structure of the flower to better understand where all the main components are, how it would work to be pollinated. The weight of the bird causes this blue portion to open up and if you look inside it's full of pollen. The pollen is then transferred to the bird. So in very simple terms, if we manually press down on the blue portion of the flower, it will divide in two, open up and expose the pollen. We then extract some of the pollen, put it on our finger and rub it onto the tip of the blue portion. It will adhere to it. And I would suggest you do this over a period of days. If you're fortunate enough to have more than one plant in flower, I suggest cross-pollinating to increase the genetic diversity of the potential seeds and the future offspring. If you were to touch this portion of the flower, you will see that it is slightly sticky. This is in fact the stigma of the flower. Let's have a closer look at the seed pods on some of these plants to see how they're developing. As each flower opens in succession, it's possible to pollinate separate flowers and have separate clumps of seeds forming. Each of these represents separate flowers that have been successfully pollinated. And as you can see, they're becoming quite plump and you can almost feel individual seeds. You can very easily tell if the flower was successfully pollinated. This is what the flower will look like eventually. This is not pollinated. It just turns brown all the way down to the stalk. So this is not pollinated. Flowers which have been successfully pollinated will develop a bulge at the base of the flower here. And then this portion will continue to expand until the seeds fill the pod and eventually ripen and burst open. I will keep you posted on the progress of how these seeds are developing. As always, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, give us a like, and happy gardening.